This is what counts, guys. The higher trend, the monthly trend, guys. Gotta respect it. That 12 month ring average, it's power. Doesn't look like much here, but look at that. I would have, uh, oh, little blip here, but look at that, man. Woo, 2003, ride, 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 and then you're out. Reduce that volatility. All these wicks, I keep saying it, but on the daily, on the weekly, those are uh, the traps, potential traps. Especially if you don't have an exit point or you get greedy in your targets. You think there's a breakdown, but oh, no, price action closes above and you start defining some monthly defined support. And that's what you need to respect. All right. But what I wanted to do today is cover the, the sectors i want to break down the sectors we all have been tracking the the spx the dow jones and we have uh, the nasdaq and then yeah it's going down but as i did before during the summer i broke down the indexes these sectors and by going through each one is it stage two stage three stage four stage one we'll be able to see where we're heading guys how the overall um, combined market is, should behave. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, let's start. Re, let's start alphabetical IDU utilities, guys. Utilities stage two little blips. Right now we are. This is our monthly defined breakout. Our monthly defined support, and we are smack ranging it just above the 12 month ring average. Maybe we're gonna go test these levels here. We have a closer. Now we have some more monthly defined support resistance. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. I keep inversing all that stuff all the time. I really apologize. I try to correct myself as soon as I notice when I do it. Sometimes I don't. I listen to my podcast after, and I said, Man. Patrick, you said support it was resistance. You're clueless. All right. And here are more intermediate breakdown levels. Whoa, right here. Look at that. Oh, twice it gapped down, went back up. So this is the pattern I would be looking at for utilities above the 12 month average. You can't short that. So that's probably going to be one of the stronger sectors in the, uh, in the market, in the index. Pretty sure this is iShares, yes, still these. Um, yeah, maybe S&P. S&P or just US, uh, US stocks and utilities. I'm not quite sure what it covers. Um, maybe, probably the S&P 500, taken out of that. But uh can't put my hand on fire for that. All right. So right now, that's a push. Stage three in progress. Consumer services, guys. All right, monthly. Ooh, okay, this one has broken down in in December. Moving average is oh, going down. Yeah, went up. December was still up. Now we're borderline, just going down, just 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 a little bit. I'm looking right here at these values here when I'm moving the the cursor. Oh, monthly defined support, but a gap down below it, creating, saying, well, that is the ultimate low. And right now it pulled back all the way up. Let's zoom in on the weekly. And this has pulled back above testing that monthly defined breakdown line closing in on the 30 week moving average which is still and doo -doo -doo, still declining back in the cloud so right now this keep an eye on this and see if it reverts goes back down or it goes back up into a stage three guys but right now it is still in a stage four pulling back up 
and you gotta really keep an eye on this to see if it goes back into a stage three. Energy. Monthly, monthly, monthly. Wow, look at that wick. It was beautiful. 2003 all the way to 2008. Beautiful stage two. Monthly candle chart keeping you in it probably most all of the way. Any close below the 12 monthly average? No, maybe borderline. Uh, gap down, but close above. And wow, you could have ridden, rode this all the way until worst case scenario, it closed out here close to the top. That's insane. Okay, what do we have for energy? Energy is in a stage four on the monthly candle chart. What do I have here? This one's a little bit messy. Support is not clear cut on the monthly. I think we had some monthly defined support here. It closed below, went almost all the way down, almost to that previous uh, support. It's coming back up and it's retracing all the way here. Oh, there's another level right here. And let's see if the month closes above. It's pulling back close to that, towards that 12 month average. It's still going downwards. Uh, right now, January is not over. So let's see if it closes above this support turn resistance. If it does, then, then it could bounce here sideways and see if it could test that level right up here, the higher level, higher pattern. All that. Maybe close up to that 12 month moving average and see if it bounces from the level and goes back down. Or else, if it goes back, then we have a bigger pattern. Oh. And then this is my monthly defined break breakout level. And there's two cases. This could actually. Oh. 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 Right there. This is my greedy target, just like that. Ah, coffee. All right, all right, all right. So stage four, pulling back. This could be the bullish scenario, goes back to these highs if ever that happens. Or else we might be continuing just the downtrend. Keep an eye on that one. Okay, financials. Ooh, wow. Look at that financials, man. Who says full retraces can't happen? They happen all the time and more. Look at that. I don't even have to put the Fibonacci. 2000, whoa, all the way to those highs, 2007. And look at that beautiful, beautiful 12 month monthly chart, monthly average. Look at that. No closes above, reduces all the noise, all these wicks. It's insane on the daily week and weekly whipsaw, whipsaw, whipsaw. The the Fed the lowers interest rate, eh, no problem. Monthly takes it. Uh, quantitative easing monthly takes it. There's no. It absorbs it. All these wicks. That's like big news, daily news. A president done something like news, you know, that can move short term or medium term events, uh, price action. But the monthly has a tendency just reduces all that noise guys and even here oh going down 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 so monthly candle chart would permit you to run the breakdown from here from 2007 all the way down to when it closed above that 12 month moving average here you would have been out road all of that okay so where we are today Financials have closed below monthly defined. Whoa. Monthly defined support right here. Came back defining even more. And I think this is it. Not super clear. I would have liked more tests here of that 115 level. And down it goes. Nice pullback on the on the neckline, still below declining 12 month marriage. Keep an eye on that. Healthcare. Ooh. 
beautiful look at that stage two man on again monthly chart permits you to run all these what are we doing here guys monthly defined breakout not close yet is the 12 month average going downwards not still going upwards had it close below it there you go so right now we are in a stage three guys industrials all right all right another one breakdown coming back to the monthly defined breakdown closing in on a 12 month moving average still stage four these could be good entries right here closing on this area here good continuation shorts consumer goods guys what is that thing look like whoa Stage two for a long time. Look at that, another full retrace. Whoa. A full retrace? Yeah. Yeah, full retrace 2008. No, I'm too far up. Look at that. See, this could be today. I can't go, can't go back down that low all the way there. Look at my graph. It's like at the bottom of the graph. That's an illusion. We all fall victim to it. If you zoom out, change time frames. Look at that full retrace. Another one. Now look, can't go back down here. That's way too low. Come on, Pat. You're not serious. Well, why not? Why not? All right, here, monthly defined. Ooh, creating bigger patterns. So where's my more tested, closer breakdown pattern? Right here. Bouncing back close to it, 12 month average severely declining. Consumer goods, check it out. See if it uh, hits that 12 month average, if it goes back down. Timber, a lot of air here. A lot, a lot of air in consumer, consumer goods. What about this one? Basic materials, hard break. Is that another one that did full retrace? Look at that, full retrace. It's possible. No reason why we can't trace back here, and no reason why we can't trace all the way back here. All right. 12 months average going downwards, down, down. This one has been hit more severely. This has broken down in October more severely than the other sectors. Pulling back up. Uh, still far away from the total average. I don't know if we're going to get all the way here and down. Keep an eye on that. That one's... Uh, if I'd have my Mansfield Walter Strength and compare it to the others, it's probably one of the weaker sectors. Real estate. Whoa, full retrace and more. And look at that. Nice symmetry, right? Up and down. You see, that's September, October 2008. So it was down a whole while before, and then it just... When everybody picked up on it, got a one final big leg. And look at this nice, nice, nice top formation. What I'm going to say top or consolidation for now. Uh, just close above 12 month average, starting to really define that breakdown, which should give us a further move down. But right now, still in uh, stage three territory, guys. Here's another level. If it goes above that, test that one. Maybe continue upwards. But if not, this is my neckline right here. Transportation. That's another one. Strong pull, strong break below that breakdown line. Pulling back right now. Giving us a clue that we may be able to continuation short right here on that pullback. All right. I Y W technology. Beautiful stage two for a while. Sideways move up, up, up. And that one. Have a break line here. And we had one also here. Top, top. Formation broke down, started to have price action below the 12 month moving average, which is now declining, pulling back. Let's see January if it closes above this support turn resistance. Probably gonna go challenge this uh, higher up support turn resistance. 
maybe touch that 12 month average before continuing down if it closes above that in this zone here then we're back into a stage three guys but right now stage four pulling back all right telecommunications wow insane to the moon no full retrace oh see this one. we hit we're hitting those previous highs from 2007 so this has never fully if you were to buy bought and hold you're still stuck not super duper and check it out look at that top left shoulder head right monthly candle chart okay this has broken down a little while back a lot of volatility you see those wicks month candle chart if you see wicks like that month candle chart if you go on the daily that must be insane insane even on the weekly broke down oh came back into a stage three you don't want to be a little short here and after that resuming his downtrend close below that big big breakdown line oh but during the month right now going back up above if it close back above we're back into a stage three moving average 27.93 and now close at 28 so close above the 12 month moving average so if i do a fast recap stage three or stage one when you finish a um, a stage four we'll see if it continues down or goes back up stage four pulling back for technology stage four pulling back for transportation stage three for real estate stage four pulling back for materials consumer goods stage four pulling back industrial stage four pulling back healthcare stage three stage three close back above 12 month average starting to create a, maybe a top formation or a continuation but right now it's stage three for that financial stage four pulling back stage four pulling back you have the 12 month average going downwards you're below some uh, some support so energy stage four pulling back consumer services stage four uh, moving average 193.84 193 yep still below 12 month average stage four pulling back for consumer services and stage three for utilities so you see overall until i start seeing some stage twos there's zero stage twos in all those sectors and, and until these stage three starts converting stage twos and those stage four start converting in stage threes or ones um the overall uh, technical underlining of the the s p is still very much into a majority in the stage four guys okay oh that was a long one guys thanks for watching Ciao.